Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to do, over the next couple of days, I'm going to throw up some just easy, last minute um, makeup tutorials for Halloween. Stuff that you've got at home, uh, no special effects, no, you know, special anything, just regular old makeup. So I thought I'd throw these up from now until actually Halloween day and not sure if I'm dressing up or not but if I do I will actually film my entire um, Halloween costume and my makeup on Halloween day. So what I've decided with as you can see I'm in pigtails and I left some strands hanging out and we are going to do kind of a um, Harley Quinn take. Um, it's not going to be like, you know, from the Suicide Squad where it's smeared. It's just going to be a simple, you know, Harley Quinn classical look. And the colors I've decided to use are blue and purple. These are gel liners from Clean Color. I have not used these yet, so <laughs> I may have a little difficulty. And so those are going to be our color schemes. And so I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm actually going to use primer um, since we're going to have a lot of creams and heavy makeup on. We want it to stay. So I'm going to use Gorgeous Cosmetics. Um, it's a white um, primer. It doesn't stay white or make your face white, but it, it's one of my favorite primers and very good for this type of application. Um, as far as foundation, I'm using Cover Queen's uh, Whitening BB Cream. It's just a very pale but full coverage um, top foundation. So that's what I'll be using for that. I'm going over these now, so I'm going to put all of my face on and then I'll cut back to you when we get ready to focus on the eyes. And then to set everything, I'm going to use uh, Lorac's um, powder. It's actually the oil-free wet-dry powder, and it's in WD-1. So I'm going to use that to set everything. Um, for highlight, which I'll do after we do the eyes, I'm going to use ColourPop's Monster. And I'll have all this listed in the description box. I also may use, I'm not sure I've got it out, um, the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Shadow. These are like a buck, but I have every color. They're wonderful, um, especially for holidays, you know, Christmas, just for that extra little bit of oomph. So I've got it out just in case. Um, as far as contour, um, I'm going to use Elf's Cool Bronze Contour. And it's going to be kind of a muddy, not muddy, but just a heavy, you know, contour. And because we're not going to really do a glam. And then I also um, have the cream blush and contour by e.l.f. that I may use. And then mascara, falsies, and the lips. So we will get started and I'm going to put the foundation and my, you know, basic face on and we will go from there. <clears throat> I have my face on, um, everything that I showed you. The only thing that I have added is I just took a white Dumbo pencil, which everybody has, doesn't matter. This is an LA Colors, NYX, doesn't matter. Um, I actually used it as a base for my eyeshadow. I didn't use primer because I wanted to make it a cream. And then I just outlined a triangle above and below my circles, <laughs> or bags. Um, if you do want to cover any dark circles, do it underneath um, your foundation first instead of on top. We don't want highlight there because we are going to have the color. So. That's what I did, and then I just took, using the pencil as a guide to make sure that they're pretty much the same 
hot and use my eyebrows, even though they're kind of gone, but we're going to fix that, um, is my stop and start point. Okay, so there is that. Also, if you have a, if you don't want to use a jumbo pencil uh, to make your lines, you can use just a white pencil because it will be covered up in um, shadow. So we're going to use shadow first. And I'm going to use the shiny palette. And I'm going to get as close to the two purple and blues that I can. But they don't have to be perfect with the shadow. Now I will have to use a mirror because as you know I can't see. <laughs> so we're going to start off with purple and I'm going to use need, you need to use something that has a really flat edge um, to make sure you know that you're keeping it within those triangles. Um, you can use something like this. It's a little too big. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use just an angled brush. And like I said, we're going to start off with purple. Doesn't matter if it's matte, if it's shimmer, glittery, whatever you want to use, whatever you got. So I'm going to go with that vibrant purple, which looks pretty close enough to that one. We're just going to, you don't want to apply too much. Like I said, I'm sorry, I'm having to use a mirror. And we're just going to outline. Um, this does not have to be perfect because we're going to go back over and then draw a line pretty much down the center, pretty as center as you can. And I should not have put that purple right there. Ignore that. We'll fix that. Okay, so we have our triangle and we're going to do the same starting with your inner corner going down not doing the other side and then kind of try to even up where that line is at the top and connect okay now that we've done that we're not going to worry about the blue side we're going to continue working with the purple so load your brush up and pat it in Okay, <clears throat> Okay. so we've done both eyes, and this is about generally what you should have. And like I said, we've got the cream gel liner that we're going to go in and sharpen everything up. Um, 
I decided to do opposites. So instead of them being the same, have them different. So now we're going to go in with a clean angled brush and try to match up the blue gel liner. And we're going to outline like we did a minute ago. Okay, so we have both our triangles done and have them just as about as even as possible. Um, so now we're going to take another angled brush and start going over all the perimeters with the gel. And like I said, this is the first time that I have used this gel. So hopefully it won't give me any major issues. And I think what I'm going to do, start off with purple, which is a really pretty purple. And I think I'm not going to use an angled brush. I'm just going to use a very small detailed brush since I'm not used to this product. But it's very creamy. I'm not gonna load a ton on. And start outlining the purple. Looks like we did a good job as far as matching. Of course, if we had liquid liner, that would be best, but we're working with what we have. And you can always, um, if you want to go in with a um, black eyeliner, if you want to trace it on top of this, you can do that as well. Okay, so I will clean that off for now. Actually, I'm going to do opposite lines. I'm going to do a purple going up or a blue going down and then the opposite. So while we've already got these, this out and this brush, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take an angled liner and we're going to do one eyebrow, just draw it in funky, however you want to do it, in purple and one in blue. And since I've got the purple open, that's what we're going to do. So we'll start with this one. Okay, so we have our eyes done. I just added opposite dots, kind of like I did um, with the eyeshadow. And then over the gel, I took, sorry, mailman, um, the eyeshadow just to set the dots since it is cream or gel. And went over the gel a little bit just to make sure it sets and doesn't crease or smear all over your face. Okay, and now we're going to go on to how, now let's do um, contour first. And with contour, we're going to go pretty heavy just because it's going to be at night and why not? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So I'm just going to take some contour. And you 
want it heavier back at the back. And you don't, we're not going to do a lot, and I'll show you in a minute why. And you want to kind of drag it down to the mouth and down. And you want to go under the chin. And you want to go over to the sides and the hairline. And that is a birthmark. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And we're going to shadow the nose. Under the nose. On the sides of the bridge. Anywhere that you're going to have shadow under the jaw and I did take the primer and the found the BB cream down my neck and I'm actually just kind of making this up as we go <laughs> Because I'm thinking of things that, and if you have too much, you can always go back with your sponge that you applied with. Kind of even that out a little bit. Okay, and what I got to thinking was as far as a, uh, Going with the contour, you know, let's make it colorful. So I'm going to take the same contour brush, grab my mirror, and also contour with the purple and blue, which are also kind of bruisey dead colors. And I'm just going to lightly go in. This is purple. And it's almost going to have a bruised effect. Okay, so I'm going to take, I took the color pop and I highlighted forehead down the bridge of my nose, um, a little bit above my cupid's bow on the cheeks, and just kind of took that same brush that I was contouring with and just blended it out. Um, I'm going to take a kind of a purpley blue um, gel liner and tight line real quick. If you didn't want any of that. Okay. 
and showing. And if you have naturally watery eyes like I do, you can always set it with a little bit of that blue or purple powder if it doesn't bother you. Um, I can't. It just makes my eyes water even more. So, I'm going to take side on lips. Um, let's see. I'm going to take purple. Um, I'm going to take the purple gel liner and I'm going to use a really small, this is actually a eyeliner and get the plastic off brush, just teeny tiny and I'm going to line my lips. Now, when you do your bottom lip, keep your mouth open, and as it meets to the corner, we're going to drag it out just a little bit. And then connect it. gives you just that little bit of kind of smirk and I'm going to do a sharp Cupid's bow Okay. Now you can e use any color you want to. Um, okay, we're just going to go with a dark burgundy lip. Now since this isn't a matte, I'm going to go back with that purple and add more. And this will draw since it's an eyeliner. So I added false lashes and a coat of mascara 
I did not think you wanted to see me struggle through that. Um, I'm going to take some black liquid liner. And I'm going to dab this in the center of my mouth, like where the um, lines are. Way it'll just kind of seep into your lines of your mouth. And here we have our finished look. I just put on a nip shrug, some arm warmers, a leather cuff with a cool bow. Just give it that girly look. A little bit of bling on this side. And you can do your nails alternating um, the purple and blue or whatever color you want, black. That can be messy because they're definitely, she doesn't keep her nails very nice. So I fit right in. So this is your final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Um, again, use what you have, you know, I used what I had and these are all very common products and change it to whatever color if you want pink orange whatever but I hope you enjoyed it I'll have all the products in the description box and I will have another video for you tomorrow